I really miss talking to you. Um, I haven't done a talking video in such a long time. I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. So this is the very reason why this episode of the Style Sketchbook is going to be a very casual, kind of girl talk episode. I didn't do any voiceovers, well a little bit for the photos, but for the most part it's just going to be a very kind of casual. But I do have something very special prepared for you for this episode. So, um, just first of all, a lot of you, the cat's gone crazy over there. Most of you who follow me on Twitter, you guys know that I have been gone to California for two weeks and I just got back like a week ago, so it's been pretty fresh. I still have my suitcases unpacked right there. Um, but yeah, it has been such a good trip. I just mainly went to visit my friends and just kind of relax. I told you I got my hot chocolate right here. It's real casual today. So yeah, I went and visited my friends and um, meanwhile, somewhere in between there, I did a really cool project with my friend Arena. She's a professional photographer. She is a very talented photographer. She's Russian as well. She's full Russian, not like me. I'm only 50% Russian. But she's just so creative and amazing. And we kind of just got back, got together and we decided to do a photo shoot. I'm going to be doing the styling part and the modeling part. And she had like the whole concept. She had the location picked out. She brought the props. And I just wanted to show you kind of like when you see a photo shoot like in a magazine or you see a photo shoot done by somebody kind of like the thought process that goes behind it the styling the what i did with the hair what i did with the makeup and of course you're going to see some of the photos that were taken that day and already the edited version because i just got the ed edited version from arena so all of the photo shoot was obviously nautical we wanted to incorporate like a nautical theme kind of how ships on the background and the ocean and all that kind of stuff and we definitely i think accomplished a great concept so I styled two outfits. Uh, the number one outfit was my favorite and you're gonna see why. Um, in this outfit I'm wearing like a striped shirt, the same one that I'm wearing in this video, kind of like a striped tight shirt, as well as Levi's loose kind of high-waisted jean shorts. And actually these jean shorts were really really big on me so I clipped them in the back with a few bobby pins because it's the only thing that I had. And then for my makeup I was wearing uh, falsies and like a really dark smoky eye kind of put the accent on my eyes and then just a nude lip so that was it and for the hair I just had my hair teased up and had it put up a little bit and just straightened down so yeah I actually used a straightener I never you guys know I never use heat on my hair but for stuff like photo shoots weddings special occasions or when I'm in the mood of looking fabulous uh, I mean, you can look fabulous without heat, but you know 100% that if you use heat on your hair, you, you have 100% control of how your hair is going to turn out. So we went to Dana Point Harbor, and that was like actually the exact place where I had my wedding. I had my wedding at the Dana Point Harbor, and it was so gorgeous that day. It's actually because you guys know, if you've ever been there, it's always overcast. It's always just dark clouds and stuff like that, but that day was just so sunny, so beautiful. We just kind of went and took several shots. We got permission to actually take photos on a boat. So that was really fun. And then after that we went to... There's like... I forgot what that's called. But you know like how on the harbor they put those rocks. They like build them on each other so the, the tides, like the waves won't get through. So you can like seal on your boats and won't be bothered by, by waves or whatever. So we went on those rocks and we took several photos and then I changed into my second outfit which was like a lace top, again, very fitted, very th very slimming, because it's very important for a photo shoot to pick out clothes that will flatter you the best. Also, if you, a, a few tips for like a future photo shoot for you, make sure you know your best angles. That's why models, of course models don't turn out perfect in every single photo, but you have to know your best angles. So it's best to like kind of just stay in front of a mirror and practice, like, like this, eh, it doesn't look so good. Like this, eh, it looks, yeah, like I know personally for me, if I'm gonna do this, and if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna turn out good in a photo shoot. Or if I'm gonna do this, like, oh, okay, that was scary. But I know <laughs> there's several faces that I know are safe and I know for sure are going to turn out in a photo. So when I go to a photo shoot, I kinda know I have several faces, but I always try to experiment. I always try to do something different with my body, kinda lean on the side and go down and just several things. So the photos that I always do, they kinda turn out kinda quirky, crazy. And as you can see on the photos that I'm showing you right now, um, there's there were quite a few fun photos um, for the second outfit. I had like a really cool striped scarf So I kind of stripped it off and the wind was blowing so I was just like playing with it with my hands 
And thank God I didn't lose it because that was something that would, I would normally do. And uh, yeah, for the jewelry, I had like a very big statement gold piece that was like the main focus of the outfit. The shoes were the same. Um, I changed from the shorts to the jeans and that was it. So uh, as you can see, a lot of thought kind of went into it. We had several really cute props. We had uh, a little starfish and we had a boat, like a little boat that I held in my hands. And here are the two photos that show that. A little bit about Arena. She is a vintage photographer. Her, her style is kind of like she always edits things into vintage and always does. It's just very inspirational, which is kind of like my style. If you notice on my videos, I'll usually have like a filter that has a, little, a bit of a purple tone or a bluish tone. So I really like that. And that's kind of what she does. She adds a lot of textures to her photos. She's very creative. She does a lot of um, just in, in general like vintage imagery and uses natural daylight for her photos So um, I'm gonna leave her Facebook down below her blog down below So you should definitely check it out. It's great for just inspiration I always go and look at her photos and kind of get inspired She always have like these beautiful flowers in the background or just something that she does that adds like so much spice to her photos So I kind of look like okay Pinterest is my source for inspiration then arena's photos like are my source for inspiration I'm gonna leave all those below if you do go to her Facebook page definitely let her leave her a comment and let her know that I sent you she's gonna be really really happy because she doesn't even know I'm doing this video um, so yeah I hope that you enjoyed this um, I will leave my fashion vlog that I've actually been working on very very hard I had my vlog on blogger before and that kind of I decided to move into a more professional world and decided to do a blog on WordPress so that a lot of work has gone into it. So if you can go on my blog and follow me or just let me know that you visited, that would be amazing. And my Twitter and my Facebook is down below. So um, yeah, I hope you're really enjoying these style sketchbooks. I decided to kind of take my whole channel and put it more in towards the fashion style of category because that's just kind of what I love doing it's like my number one thing that I love to do and there was definitely still going to be a lot of hair tutorials a lot of um, a little bit of makeup tutorials I'm not so big into makeup as you can tell like the ratio of my hair tutorials and makeup is very very small I, I don't really do very much makeup but I'll still keep them coming because I know that you guys request them and you like to see them so yeah I really hope you enjoy these videos I've been really really putting a lot of work in this style sketchbooks um, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'm just gonna say bye real quick I missed you guys like I just miss talking to you I miss just you know having like a casual face-to-face -face conversation so I will see you in my next video and I love you guys bye